Hello friends, I'm Paris and this is our 38 video in Android application development. So uh, in this video I'm going to uh, show you that how you can uh, integrate a uh, Facebook audience network in Android Studio. So uh, first of all, what's Facebook audience network? If you're familiar with that move, uh, it's like AdMob uh, platform that you can monetize your apps. So um, Facebook audience network uh, also you can do to uh, monetize your apps with Facebook audience network so particularly uh, in this video I want to show you that how you can integrate banner ads and in the next video I will show you uh, the integration of entity shell ads so for uh, uh, creating a Facebook uh, audience network ads first of all you need to open your Facebook business manager so I have already uh, uh, opened my Facebook Business Manager and after that you need to uh, click on in here and click on Monetization Manager. So I have already opened my Monetization Manager and in here you can come down. Uh, you need to, uh, if you are familiar with AdMob, when you want to monetize your apps you need to create an application in uh, AdMob account. So in Facebook Audience Network also you need to create a property. So I'm going to click on uh, create property and uh, so from here uh, you need to create a new property and okay so you need to give a property name so let me give test app and click on create property so now the uh, property I'm using Android Studio for this uh, tutorial uh, and I will show the banner ad. So in here you can see that you can choose your platform. Uh, so I'm using Android. So let me click on Android. Okay. Uh, so uh, you have uh, some stages. So five stage. Uh, the first one is that uh, it's telling you that uh, submit your Android app information. So uh, when you publish your application, for example. Uh, and with uh, uh, Facebook audience network after that you need to uh, click on uh, app is live so for right now we do because uh, we are not publishing this application I'm going to say so for the first you need to choose this it app is not live click on submit after that you have done your job you have published your application on Play Store uh, you need to copy the link of your application and you need to add uh, in here so in here so for, for right now apps not live uh, now we need to create our placement so you can see we have different uh, ads I'm choosing banner ads so let me click on banner ads and uh, in here you need to describe so uh, at the top of the activity or you can say or page and click on create placement so now we have created our placement. Uh, another process is uh, that uh, confirm your uh, audience network SDK integration. And also, uh, this is the place that uh, we are going to do this in Android Studio. And in, uh, so you can see we have a placement ID. So this is the important one because we need to, when in the production level, you need to add this placement ID in Android Studio. So platform Android app, and this is a banner ad. Uh, so this uh, stage is uh, related uh, uh, to this stage uh, that uh, when you publish your application you can add the link uh, in here and uh, <coughs> so another important is that uh, you need to add your business payment so uh, I have already created and uh, uh, in Facebook business manager so let me click on this and select so I have added my uh, business payment account information. Now uh, the, the, these steps are completed. Uh, so the last step is that you need to uh, uh, open your Android Studio. So this is my Android Studio. Okay. Now in here I have created a new project. Uh, so this is my project. Let me remove this okay now uh, first thing uh, you need to open your belt.gradle and you need to add Facebook audience network SDK in here 
so this is in implementation and let me add this in here we can now click on sync now and we are waiting for the syncing of the project okay guys now the integration has been completed and uh, now uh, open your activity main.xml uh, in here you need to add the container for your uh, Facebook audience network so uh, let me just uh, add uh, from here so this is a linear layout uh, we are using as a container let me copy this and then let me change the constraint layout to the relative layout relative layout and add this in here also uh, I want the add at the top of the page so let me lay out a line parent top make it true okay so after this now you need to open your main activity .java. and in here uh, the first thing you need uh, in this section you need to initialize your ads so uh, because when you want to use a Facebook audience network uh, you need to initialize this so you can do uh, audience network so audience uh, network ads dot initialize the parent is this okay so after this now uh, let me just create a method in here so let me public void banner at load and uh, so first uh, okay now in here you need to create an add view private add view I call it add view so now we need to initialize the add view add view new add view okay so now you need to add the first one is this variant and this is your placement ID that you need to add uh, if you see uh, in this section okay so let me copy this uh, I show you the production level but uh, uh, I cannot earn from this because uh, when I publish the application and when I send the link to the uh, Facebook they will approve my application and after that I can earn so let me just copy this and paste this in here so this is the placement ID and the last one is that uh, you need to add uh, in here so uh, okay uh, the another one is that size so add size so you can see we have different we have banner at height 50 we have banner right height 90 uh, let me just choose height 50 okay now after this we are going to create uh, uh, our linear layout because we are going to find the uh, add container so linear layout I call it at container find view by ID or dot ID dot banner container and at the end we need to uh, add uh, the add to our activity so for this now add container dot add view so add view and we are going to add the add view and at the end we need to request the ads so add view dot load add so now this is uh, the complete uh, integration and uh, in here let me just call this uh, banner add load okay so first of all uh, let me just uh, uh, run my uh, 
virtual emulator and after that uh, one important issue that uh, you need make sure that you have Facebook uh, on your virtual emulator uh, I'm using uh, the mirror so I'm mirroring my real device and I have Facebook on that and I will show you that so now let me just uh, connect this and I will be back so guys now this is my uh, virtual emulator mirror emulator now let me just run this and click on OK click on proceed so now uh, I'm waiting for the running of the so it's uh, running and installing APK on my real device uh, okay now this is my application and now I'm waiting for the uh, ad yeah now you can see that this is the uh, Facebook audience network ad that uh, I have uh, uh, created so the integration is uh, correct and because we are seeing ad and uh, we have added the real ad ID and we are seeing the real ad ID if you want to see test ads you can add uh, your test ID from the lock ads for example uh, so you can copy uh, your uh, test uh, ID uh, from here and you can add this but uh, there is no problem that uh, now we are seeing the real ads and uh, so this is the last step uh, now uh, for example uh, this is a production level application and I want to uh, publish my this application uh, after creating your signed EPK uh, you need to uh, publish your application on the Play Store a uh, Google Play Store and after uh, approving from the Google Play Store you need to copy the uh, URL link of that application and you need to come back to the uh, Facebook Business Manager and you need to add just uh, your uh, in here the link in here and after that click on submit you don't worry about this uh, integration because when you add the link then this will be become a uh, check mark this also uh, this so this two step publish your updated app to the play store so this was uh, from the banner ads uh, in the next video i will show you the uh, individual ads integration uh, i will add the source code to the video description please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the videos